Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to today's video. I already have my face done because I filmed earlier today. Anyway, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. You never know what you're going to get on this channel. I do try to upload every day if I'm feeling good. So, if you want, like, hit the subscribe button and get ready for the video. So before we begin, um, I do wanna share with you uh, the slip color. It's cowboy, and I think I forgot to say that in my um, Try It Again Thursday video, but it's cowboy. And it was mentioned in um, some of my most prized makeup that I'll never get rid of, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Cowboy, 358. And I put this lipstick on probably four hours ago. And since then, I've had two um, protein drinks. I've had lunch, and it's still there. It's not flaked or anything, but I am gonna pop a little bit of polish up there. I'm just gonna put the L'Oreal Gloss and Bomb in, this one's in Rose Harmony. All righty. So, my number one all time will never be replaced urban decay palette is born to run born to run has a very nice mirror as well as the color story i love this color story it looks like it doesn't make sense but it does so Number one. Number two. And it's such a shame that these first two aren't made anymore. But the second one is this Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne palette. What did she call this? She had a name for it. The Daydream palette. And it comes with the mirror. Comes with the brush. And these are all uh, matte shades. And I dip into this palette so often. So it breaks up there. Um, it just has the, you could do these transition colors and, put, and do, use any lid color and it would be beautiful. So my second favorite. I had to put a number. Now, my third, Miss Moon Dust. These are stunning. I'm going to swatch the purple, this teal, and lithium. Because that seems to have made a comeback. But that's, and I'm swatching some singles. Now my swatching is not good, so bear with me. So, Moon Dust. I use Moon Dust a lot. Now I've got Urban Decay on my eyes today, and we and again, the same time this lipstick. And my eyeshadow has not creased. It has not broken apart. Usually by this time of day, it's, it's gone. Um, and it is currently 84 degrees outside. So, anyway, what color did I say I was going to use? Let's put a little bit 
of this green, which is light year. I swatched it. It's this one. So, I mean, I'm barely tapping. See how pretty that looks? Wow. I'm really enjoying these tags because it's making me pull out palettes and and play with them, you know? This one, this baby, the heavy metals. Hate, hate the packaging. Worst packaging of any product I've seen, but I, swat, or I swatched some of the um, grungy side when I did the initial look in my Try It Again video, just because I hadn't pulled this out in a long time. So, I will swatch some of the more muted shades. Let's go in with Starfire, Angel Fire, and oh, this is pretty scream. That's those. Let's see if I can turn the brightness down a little bit. See if that will help. Yeah, there we go. These are the swatches. So, now I can put this palette up. See, it's, I, if I put it in wrong all the time and it's, there's only one way to, to use it. And I just do not like this packaging. I, you spent then this is exactly why because you're spending more time than you need to in putting it up now it is sturdy it's a very sturdy palette but getting it there and another favorite is this um build your own palette you know these come with a nice mirror as well and these have some shades in them. They have some moon um, dust shades in them too. And I use these quite a bit. Um, but it's that. Let me see. I'll swatch four of them. I actually had already swatched them, but. Purple's really pretty. It would look really pretty over that. Okay. Then, Urban Decay. These are my moon dust shades. Solstice is obviously used a lot, but I will swatch these others. Cosmic, which is that white. Beautiful. what they look like and then this was in the um, last video as well these are all shimmers and this is a beautiful beautiful palette it is, has a beautiful formula and I think that it did not do good um, and they discontinued it because some of the names of the shades a little controversial I mean, you've got 
a shade called Druggy, which is purple. Um, paralyzed, sinful. So, you know, I look at the, the palette, not what the names are, you know, but I, this palette is beautiful. It really is, you know, and I mean, just, I, I'm going to swatch druggy and sinful and paralyzed. We'll sw I'll swatch these three. I'm going to swatch them on this side. They still perform very well. I mean, so I do, I, I love this palette. I love the colors in it. Next is the Elements palette. This palette is I don't like the shape of it. It comes with a nice mirror. And that's what the palette actually looks like. The center center has a highlighting shade, which is, I don't know which one did it first, BH Cosmetics or them, but they've got that highlighter in the center. And I know um, BH Cosmetics, their Zodiac palettes, it has in the very center of the palette a white, but this has some beautiful shades too. Swatch this green one and I don't know why they made this limited edition. I'll swatch this pink matte. And I mean, that's the colors. That's the, just right up my alley. That color. <laughs> that's a matte. So. I enjoy this palette and my naked palettes I will tell you the bottom palette is this one the naked or the Urban Decay Naked Smoky there are some of the shimmer shades that I can wear. The mattes are too cool for me. I cannot wear cool tones. They just look muddy on me. But, you know, had to get it. So, but this is my least used. And up next is my Naked Cherry. This palette has never been used at all. So, I need to use that. It's not even been swatched. I keep all, most of my palettes in my in their boxes and my one daughter that's into makeup, she just, she's, I don't know why you keep the boxes. It's like, oh, just have it, I guess. So, that one's going back in the box. And after that is the Naked 3. And the shimmers in here, I do enjoy the shimmers, but the mattes are more cool toned, and I can't get, maybe this one I could get to work on my skin tone, but I never reach for this. And sadly, this one, this one out of all the naked palettes, and I had the honey and I had the reloaded and I decluttered them. But this one, and the, I had the Wild Wild West too, and I gifted those away, but they were so disappointing. This palette. Whoops. I really wanted to love 
for this shade alone, VR, and the next was Lucid. Let me swatch these and you'll see why. Let's see. Let me take that off my hand. Okay, swatch. So this is VR. This is Lucid. And I'm going to swatch a matte. The matte is optimized. Okay. Let me draw my hand. lights might make it look good but couldn't get it to really perform good on my eyes this shade is in line with these shades that blue brown matter of fact let's put some on take it on my finger and put it over what I've already got up here. It got it a little bit purple, and they're very crumbly. Very crumbly. I don't know if you can see, but in the pan, it's you can't really see, but it, it crumbles up, which is a shame, but I just don't reach for this like I thought I would, um, because I love purple, but, you know, maybe I'll bring this out and play with it along with, do a couple looks with this, and my last ones are my Oz palettes. Now, only because I don't wear these colors, because they are very cool toned. But, and that was the other one. Maybe I will try. little bit of this blue in this shade it's a split pan I don't know I guess you can't see it. it's a split pan right here so I'm gonna put that's what it looks like blue almost tap that in the center I do not like the split pans on any in any palette. The, the split, you know what I'm talking about. Where you have two, there we go. Where you have a shade here and a shade here. And they're two totally different shades. It's not even like if you mix them together, you know, you're gonna get something spectacular you know, that's those two mixed together. And my last used least favorite is the Pulp Fiction. Again, the double shades. I will say, he shades, especially Vengeance, it feels like a cream. It goes on just so buttery. See how deep and pigmented that is? And this powder is God knows how long. I mean, how old. Good gracious. But that is it for 
ranking my Urban Decay palettes. Or sort of ranking. Guys, I sure do appreciate you sticking around and watching this video. I hope you consider subscribing. Give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And remember, be beautiful and be kind. I'll see you next time.